Uh, my, my name is Sam. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm from Westside Middle School. Disturb the silence! And this is my poem, Who I Want to Be. When I was four, I decided I'd be a dinosaur. I'd rampage the yard, crunching leaves between my feet, and I'd only eat veggies, because my kind hates meat. The land before time, I would watch every day, then stomp through the house the brachiosaur way. On bath night, I'd screech like a mad mosasaur, causing bubble bath tsunamis that flooded the floors. When I was six, I decided I'd be a mermaid. The neighborhood pool was my rectangular sea, and while swimming, my legs were never apart. A perfect area I want to be. I'd suck in my breath as I sank to the sea floor and whip my head back and forth, mesmerized with my hair that flowed like pink sea snakes swimming till sunset. And on the days when the rain left my stuffed fish and me stranded, we'd burst bubbles, bribe barnacles, and bounce on my bed. When I was eight, I decided I'd be a performer. I stole my mom's dresses and makeup to treat my family to hours of living room karaoke and hallway fashion shows. At the bedroom award ceremony, my brother read a slip of paper that held my name. But it's not like there was any other option. They were all the same. My cotton-filled fans would watch me with pride as I glided to the mic. Is, is this thing on? I'd like to think my pet rock. We had so much fun, it was like the clock had stopped. I drained boxes of Sharpies and filled drawers with notebooks, attempting cursive and fancy lettering. When my... Oh, jeez. We had so much... Uh, I'd practice with Barbies and plates of the shy little girls who would one day ask for my autograph, kneeling down so they wouldn't have to look up to me just because they'd seen my face projected on screens. I, I, they, pl they clutched the plastic notes they held in their plastic hands, the message I wish I could have heard reflected in their eyes. You are important and valued, so please don't think otherwise. When I was 10, I decided I'd be a superhero. They called me Purple Rose. Power one, forest fields, totally effective dodgeball shields. Power two, invisibility, discovered one evening at Applebee's. Power three, flight, first re revealed one chilly autumn night when I launched myself from a trampoline doing flips and turns until the sun set with wings so beautiful and violet they rivaled Waluigi's hat itself. My brother, Fire Dude, was my partner in crime. I would save my scared stuffed citizens wearing my new lilac cape while he managed his multitude of military men. We gave them our shelter and offered them our food. It was the heroic thing I knew I needed to do. When I was 12, I decided I'd be an author. I wrote stories where the princess saves a prince, and better yet, where one princess saves another. When my Teddy editors asked about my latest deadline, I convinced them I could finish the chapter before bedtime. My sketched out story of kissing girls and boys with makeup was never something I considered to be a problem. My novels were pieces of everyone in one. It was something I knew needed to be done. And now that I'm 14, I know who I want to be. Some people say grown-ups must put the childish things away, but the adults we become grow from the way children play. The dinosaurs and I will both go down in history and shape the world the way we want it to be. 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 may not add up to 14. But dinosaur, mermaid, performer, superhero, and author do add up to me. Yeah.